to kick the new year off back with WNCL action. Here's Courtney Sipple bowling to Lazelle Lee. And it's just a rusty old wide down the leg side, Bryce. A yeah, bit of movement, though, in the air. And... So it's Prestwich again. And this one's short. Cut away. And it's through the gap there. And it might get all the way to the boundary. It does. So good timing there. So Tazzy, good start. No wicket for 14. Prestwich. Short. Pulled away. Magnificently by Lazelle Lee. There's no doubt about that he didn't miss any part of the middle of the bat. Good gig, isn't it? Terrific. How are you getting into that? Simple. <laughs> I, well, I don't know. Is it a transition? Oh, lovely shot by Treneman too. Just... That's a long way to say, man cat. Press red short. Cut away by Lazelle Lee. Now, we know one down there to pick that one up. I do have a question for you though, Robbie. Okey dokey. Here's Presswidge. Short, pulled away by Lazelle Lee. Yeah, from where Tasmania are having just played the four. Both have only lost one game though. That one's wide, cut away. She... Tassie have had all the momentum here, so she's pulled it back nicely here, Johnson. Swept away by Lee. Finds the gap as well. Beautifully played. Four runs. So just as we're talking up the tidiness of Johnson, that one uh, um, still a newish ball for Hancock to bowl with. This one's full. He didn't get all of it, but it's it's been called a no ball as well by the umpire, and it's found the boundary rope as well. So and with Lee on strike, anything could happen. He's flicked that away beautifully, and that is going to find the rope as well. So. Get an early wicket. This one's full again. I think that's an under edge from Lee, and uh, she shakes her head, but it's going to do the job. Another boundary from this over, and there's been a lot of talk about the spirit of cricket, uh, Kath. I'm not sure that's what we'll be after. This one's down <laughs> the leg side. Oh, it's been caught! Must have got something on it, Lee. And uh, it wasn't the best delivery, but it's done the job. Caught down the leg side. Lizelle Lee gone for 40 from 34. A very handy wicket. A century in the first game and then 43. Yeah. Now short, pulled away by Treneman. She loves that pull shot and finds the gap between deep square leg and deep mid wicket. Treneman. Looks in sparkling condition, AB Field. Some renovations in recent times. That one's short again and pulled away. Oh, Treneman. Now, she's hurt herself there on the shot. She has had some knee issues, and oh, this is not good for Rachel Treneman. She will retire hurt on 20, and, and a lot of discomfort. So Grace Parsons, the leg spinner, will come on and tosses one up, and it's driven straight back down the ground by Nicola Carey. Beats Bellani, the skipper on strike. Faces Hancock, short, cut away, and she likes it in that area and puts it away to the boundary. Let's see what she's got first ball in here now. Uh, you got me going now. Kerry steps <laughs> back away and edges that one through. Chase is on in the field, but not going to get there. Four runs, not the most convincing boundary, but a boundary nonetheless. Very easy to go defensive quickly, especially with a relatively new captain in Harris. Bellani moves across and goes the luck again. Best ball to close out the over. And the reverse of in there. And court, court. Wicket. It's a wicket laden. Never mind a maiden. She'll do you one better there, Bryce. <laughs> a wicket laden. And it's the big wicket of Elise Villani. And uh, making the Tassie batters very uncomfortable. This one's coming in there as well. And the catch taken. You could see as soon as she hit it, she was disappointed with herself, Kerry. And it's the skipper, Laura Harris, taking the catch. You've got the batsman playing the shot you want. They think that's a scoring shot. That's the attacking line. And that's a chance. Fielder out there. Is it? it is indeed. Catch is taken by Sipple. They waited with bated breath. Beautifully bowled. Ruth Johnson will continue. It's a little bit wide. Cut away, up-ish, but beats the fielder. Down towards the boundary. It's fairly lush. Pacific Cup against... BG Samoa. Now we see Stalenberg goes long and hits it straight and just inside the boundary rope for four runs. So that live in the city as well and one player from Pop and Detta, which is Here's a go. Big chance. Beat the outside edge. The bat's been given out, caught behind. 
We're going to see New South Wales and Victoria at the Junction Oval tomorrow. As a shorter ball, and Emma G, Mannix G's this time pierces the field, and that's a nice boundary. The Tasmanians will lap that one up because there's been few and far between over the last 10 overs. Um, but I did majority of the roll. Now that one's short. Bit of a top edge on it from Maloney out into the deep, and the catch is taken. So the sixth wicket falls. The 30th over mark, just 41 runs. Well, here's the player who's played a big part in this, Grace Parsons, who gets hit through the offside. That'll be the first boundary off her bowling for... Key wicket, those key wickets of, of Liam Villani. Bowling. It's Boulder. It's Boulder. Did that come off the body there? I'm not sure. We'll have a look at that replay. But either way, Sippel has a wicket and another one falls for Tasmania. They're now seven. One for 73 of 10 overs. Oh, we've got an edge. It is an edge. Caught behind. Mayer takes a good catch. Johnson gets her first wicket. Get, take this innings deep. Coit goes long. Oh, got a good piece of that. Sarah Coit over the <laughs> rope for six. Yeah. Here we go again. This time driven hard through the offside. They'll just pick up the one run on the offside. No, they'll do better than that. The field's come up. Oh. <laughs> Quality. Coit sweeps nicely. Behind square, can't be saved. Another boundary. On strike now. And goes straight back over the bowler's head. Down past mid off, and it should get to the boundary for four runs. It does. It's been a little bit expensive today, Nick Hancock. Gets a bit of wit from slashed away. What a catch! Magnificent catch taken by Grace Parsons. That rubber stamps a fantastic innings from her. She bowled beautifully and has taken a great diving catch. Alan Waterfield in the second innings. Massive shout first up and it's given. What a start for Tasmania. That is exactly what they're after. We spoke about be up and about. A very positive start from them here with the ball. Shout goes up again. This time it's for court behind. Given as well. See the smiles on the faces there. Elise Bellani was convinced early. Ball. She's bowled a couple of rippers early on. And again, oh, she's oh, got a ball. Oh, oh. This is extraordinary. So we've had an LBW, a court behind, now a bold. In the very first over. This one's full and pulled away. Batter as well. Yeah. As we see there, pulls that one away. Hardly bothers moving. She knew that was four off the bat. There's no one down there. Before I came off 22 deliveries. It's Ruth Johnson. A cut. Big appeal. Caught behind. The catch is taken by Mannix G's. Coit gets the breakthrough. A good bowling change. I reckon Ashley Nofke said this cut loose. Here we go. Bang! Here we go. <laughs> Straight over mid wicket. Pounds into the picket fence. Laura Harris picks up the boundary. A lap one or reverse. Bowl gets a full ball, works it away on the onside. Between mid wicket and wide mid on, and that should run to the boundary rope, but it does. So another boundary by Villani keeping Coit on. Bowls on strike now and plays it off the back foot. Can she find a gap? She does. That is. Some wide outside off. You can see Coit disappointed with herself there, gives herself a wrap. That's for Tazzy. This one's quite outside off. As we spoke about, Vol knows she needs to make full. Shorter ball from Kerry. And unable to put it away that time, Vol. She's hit it straight to point. We have big turners in the ball of their spinners. Right outside off, slashed away, through the gap, four for Harris. That's a good shot. That's the wickets and just try and rotate the strike from here. Well, guided by Harris there. She's using the pace. Gets her four there as well. Yeah, extraordinary that it was at the same venue as well. Yeah, that is crazy. Oh, Boulder, there it is, slower ball. She tempted Harris into the shot and did exactly what she needed to do straight through. She's just from ball one, pin the ears back, and launch. 
Oh, oh. Sides in the oh, it's just past the outreached arm of Elise Villani. Oh, dear. Well, here's Heather Graham doing an up lofted in the air, and that one has been taken. So a nice, simple catch going out there to short mid-wicket. When she got it up and that late movement away, particularly from the right-hander, was impressive. Well, it can't be saved at mid-off from that shot from Hancock, who just eased it to mid-off, timed the ears off it. Oh, to be fair. So you see this one pop straight back up to Kerry, and there's that pressure build up, a few dots. See that by them going back to their main players. That one's in the air, but finds the gap, driven nicely in the end by Hancock. It's going to find the rope. Four handy runs for Queensland. Hancock strikes that, manages to get it past the fielder on the drive and gets the boundary. Anyway, there's a little bit of resistance being shown here. Here's the big appeal and Parsons has gone. Caught behind, Molly Strano gets that elusive wicket. Maybe after one of the New South Wales State of Origin players? I doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, short ball heaved away, and it's a good shot too. By Caitlin Mayer, picks up her first boundary. Collecting singles, but once they've pushed the field back, she's been happy to do that. Graham to Mayer and whipped away nicely. Off the toes for four runs. Well guided again by Hancock. That one should run away before and does so all the back of the hand slow ball but she obviously thought it was a time to try something different no shorter this time Hancock stands and pumps up out to the boundary shorter ball cut away very nicely by Mare that'll be another four runs injuries just in general I think Outside off, that one sky. You see Hancock drop her head and she knows that Lizelle Lee is not going to drop that opportunity. So there it is, the final wicket falls for Queensland. They're in, in his closes on 140 in the 34th over. Tasmania get the win in what has been an absolute roller coaster of a game, Kath.